Tilda Chapter 57, Retron's Temporary Glory. Back down on Earth, Retron has been updated that the Legion is now off the planet, after looking at the atmospheric activity and searching throughout the whole planet. While worried about what could happen to the Earth is also happy that not only does he have the Earth to himself but that there are defenses now all over the planet and are still getting added to, making the Earth very well protected. Retron is at the top balcony of the base. A base that has some renovations no thanks to the event caused by Torrid. Retron looks over the town and sees his ego all over his views making him happy for once and making him very nostalgic. In his mind, he is thinking of the mission that made him a hero of his own. When he fought off terrorism which was threatening the same town he is staring out, but without the nighttime and the snowy weather. Retron was a very good leader. Able to get through the mission without losing any of his cannon fodder and able to face the big bad boss at a point of causing fear instead of losing it. He has everything he wants, the medals, the recognition, the lot. But then when one of the first alien attacks happened ten years ago, before Pod ever stepped foot on Earth, it was an alien army that not only got his eye but ended up losing his legs, all of which were done via lasers, making him a disadvantaged bloke who could never reach those successful heights again. But right now, he has the level of power he wants. And he can get those glory days back, back when fighting evil humans was a fun sport for him, someone who has been eager for the Earth to be this protected. Thanks to these defenses from Retron, Retron can allow him to join the battlefield more easily, and he likes it. More turrets. Drones and other ideas are also going to be possible as the president enabled the start of the new method of star farming, encouraging many space-traveling servicemen to fetch various stars which can get the Earth into a new golden age or netro age you could say. All that research towards netro after Orpheon's attack later pays off, it is a kind of technology that is complicated to use at first but then it can be molded into all sorts like Play-Doh, even quick to use too mainly thanks to Orpheon and Zemian's liquid metal innovation. While Retron has all of these dreams, despite the shrinking crime, it is still going on, and the latest consists of a bank robbery. These robbers are stealing money to try and aid their own families considering that Torrid's attack did affect some businesses within Earth along the way. But leaving a bank will not be easy now they are out of the door. The robbers have seen the defences already onto them, they try and run to their car, the three of them, to try and outrun the Netro drones that appear before their eyes. With one drone struggling to shoot stun lasers at the car or the robbers directly considering the car has no roof, this is where other drones are notified about this and so go after the car, adding to the trouble the car is in. As some servicemen watch this, they wonder how these drones are going to resolve this situation, and this is where the turrets are already onto it too, firing more stun lasers at the car, and in the end, the car ends up stopping slowly due to these lasers. Now the car has stopped, the robbers try and use their stolen servicemen guns to try and fire at the drone, but the drones are too tough and the stun lasers already stun the robbers before they can make any more of a move. Especially now they had stopped before entering a more public area after getting off a motorway. This results in the drones grabbing hold of the robbers with a special claw machine from under the drone and taking them to prison, where the servicemen at least have a role. But they might as well be your average wardens, servicemen used to do all the risky businesses. Retron sees this as, yet another crime successfully countered by his defences, making him very pleased, and this gets to a point where more and more servicemen start to leave public areas. Going back to the base or other lesser protective areas now they are running out of things to do. There are times when he likes to be the primary hero despite being a sniper user. In this case, there was an attempted robbery, and now that robbery was shortened as the drones got to the robbers early enough. This enables Retron to gain some leverage, witnessing others fear him. Even searching for the Legion via trying to track technology outside of the Legion's abandoned collapters when the Legion got rid of them during the fetching Dian heist. Even thanks to Netro innovations, like Dian who can oversee the whole universe. The Earth's base thanks to the prior development with the satellites enables the Earth to see more but slowly over time. This means that searching for the Legion out of space would take a while, thinking that the Legion could come back to bring another threat with them. Minutes later. A serviceman has seen the Legion finally enter a world, a world of the Morphils, making them consider firing towards the planet a lot easier, and so Retron orders the planet attacker to fire towards that planet. As the serviceman wait for his call as the strike is getting set up. 
The president now wants to see him, and this is where a serviceman craft is called in to drop off Retron to where the president is, at the large balcony of his house. The president wants to talk to Retron about the defenses. Retron uses his collapter to showcase holographic statistics for how well his defenses are doing. It has been reducing crime, but the town and more are almost afraid to not do any bad considering the turrets and drones everywhere Retron even talks about how all of this is a dream come true. While the president is impressed, he has missed the Legion's way of doing things, not making the public scared once they clarified who they truly are and the variety of moves they can do. Not to mention. The Legion managed to help Diane calmly compared to the Netro weapons which caused a lot of damage, less controlled than the Legion. Retron then explains that the goal was to destroy Diane which the president is already baffled about. Especially when he has seen footage that the lasers were not stun-based. The president shows while the Legion is flawed, the Netro defenses still need major improvements and Retron needs to make up for all the people they would have hurt or worse, the town is still getting repaired after all. Retron despite being more into his nostalgia instead of being a hero rather than the condition of the people still understands that if he wants to be better than the Legion then the destruction and harming have to be more minimal, and so Retron also orders the improvements to get going.